We're back with Muriel Spark again. Thanks for watching. Uh, the four novels by Muriel Spark, this really great volume I'm really having a lot of fun with. So uh, the one I'm going to talk about today is The Only Problem. It starts out with a uh, quote from uh, the Bible, Job. Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with God. Job 13.3 So uh, what goes on in this story is uh, we have the main character whose name is uh, Harvey. Yeah, Harvey is a rich guy. Harvey is living in France in just a really kind of little shack because uh, that's the way he, he wants to live in this, uh, this little shack uh, because he's very studious. Um, he has left his wife. There, there's a scene right at the beginning where uh, he is with his wife and his wife's sister and his wife's sister's husband and they're all in, and one other guy and they're all in this car trip uh, in Italy, I think. And, and his wife is talking to them with this chocolate that she uh, uh, ate she, after they stopped at a store. And it turns out that she's like shoplifted this, uh, this chocolate. And uh, he like freaks out. You know, he, he, they're on the trip and he freaks out and <laughs> leaves them. He just gets out of the car and pulls over, gets out of the car and leaves everybody and just you know, walks away. Basically, he's walking away from the relationship with his wife because he's like pissed off at her for, for doing this. And you know, she, her explanation is, uh, this is written in 1984. Her explanation is, uh, well, it's just rich corporations and you know, all the sort of justifications we would do for ripping off like you know, a big corporate. It's like, well, it's just a mindless corporation anyway and, and, and screw them, you know, basically that kind of a thing. So he doesn't, he doesn't like this. And uh, then we cut to a scene of him and, uh, and his friend Edward, who is the, the wife of, uh, the husband of the other, uh, the other sister, these two sisters, uh, 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 Ruth and uh, what's the other sister, the main sister's name? Uh, Ruth and uh, uh, Ellie, Eff Effie, Effie. Ruth and Effie are the names of the sisters, and Effie is the one who steals the chocolate and gets kicked out of the car. So uh, Edward is married to, uh, to Ruth, and I think the, both of the girls were like uh, daughters of a preacher or something, as well as Edward used to be a, uh, a, a preacher, a curate, curate you know, whatever, and uh, <laughs> So he uh, got into acting, though, because he was really more interested in the acting part of everything, putting on the pageants every year, and he decided to drop all the, that stuff and be an actor instead. So he's an actor, and he's sort of struggling. And he goes out to visit uh, Harvey in his little house out there. And Harvey's little house, you know, it's... It, this sort of thing about how, how uh, Harvey's house around it, it it's nothing, nothing is really growing very well. It's all kind of, a, you know, a, and, and there's sort of a, a notion that somehow there is not, not, it's not healthy right there, uh, sort of spiritually in a way. So, uh, so it's, it's really kind of a complicated story because a lot of stuff goes on in the whatever, 120, 30 pages of this novel. Uh, and it's just very involving and very mysterious in a way because uh, ultimately Effie, the, uh, the, the uh, wife, uh, gets, has, a ch has a child with, uh, with uh, someone else, uh, Edward, I, I think. No, no, another, another dude she hooks up with. Plus... Uh, she's uh, suddenly uh, there's this around his area where he's living uh, in France uh, there is these uh, 
robberies by this uh, terrorist gang. And she's, they think she's one of the terrorist gang. So there's a lot of interviews with the cops, a lot of him talking to the cops, and a lot of things about uh, the, story, the book of Job that comes into the story. Even though he's got a rich guy, he's being plagued in, in a certain way as Job would be. And uh, a lot of co characters come in and out. Um, we, you know, we don't really know what's going on. It is pretty much of a mystery. We don't really know if it's, if it's actually Effie who is the woman with this gang. I mean, as suspicious as though she is, but we don't really know. So there's always sort of a, a question there going on which drives the reading of the story, which, which I just consumed like really quickly because I, I, I loved it. I mean, I, I just think it was just really wonderful. I won't tell you how it all comes down, but it does have all this stuff about the book of Job and about, um, you know, uh, how uh, a painting uh, of Job, Job's wife, which I'll, I'll show, uh, that he goes and visits, which is in, a, in France somewhere. And um, it, it's a, a really wonderful read. I mean, uh, I am quite into uh, Muriel Spark all of a sudden as, uh, you know, somebody whose novels I'm very, very much enjoying. I mean, these last two, the driver's seat was, you know, was pretty good, but kind of really disturbing. And, but since then, uh, Girls of Slender Means and, uh, and this one, uh, the only problem have have just been uh, really terrific, and uh, I I can't recommend them more. Uh, and she wrote a uh, lots of stuff, uh, this woman, and some longer novels. Uh, the the first novel, written uh, in the fifties, I've read about it, is about uh, uh, you know some kind of uh, whatever speed was available at that time and and hallucinations that she has, uh, the character has, from taking these, uh, these uh, drugs. Uh, and uh, it sounds quite interesting. I think I probably will try to read that eventually. But, um, you know, I, I'm uh, quite convinced with, Mir I'm, I'm going to go back to uh, uh, the prime of Miss Jean Brody next. Uh, actually, I, I have this uh, Audible uh, account, and I might uh, listen to it and read it because uh, it might be fun to, to uh, listen to it because the, the, uh, the audio book has very uh, high recommendations. So, uh, you know, it might be, might be fun to listen to. Uh, and, you know, that was a wonderful story too. So probably next it's going to be uh, Prime of Miss Jean Brody. So uh, thank you for watching.